Today we are going to be presenting something very exciting that was announced in today's keynote, which is the use of enterprise and vector search over enterprise server, or as it was known before, enterprise advanced. In terms of the evolution of MongoDB, it's has, it has been an exciting a few past years, but the most important part of all this content is that, that, that one year ago, a little bit over one year ago, we enabled vector search on Atlas. And since we enabled that, we have been getting questions, when are we going to develop when are we going to be releasing search on enterprise server and the answer is today i want to quote jim schwarf which is our cto and i quote our enterprise customers have told us that they want to harness the power of gen ai on their own property data but the architectural complexity of vaulting on separate search and vector databases has been a major barrier. By bringing the power of Atlas search capabilities to our self-managed customers, we are giving them the tools to begin innovating faster on their own terms. What were some of those key pain points that we are addressing today? First the complexity of managing separate search engines. Before, you needed to have, if you didn't have Atlas, you needed to have different components. Also, maybe another pain point is the inability to use Atlas search due to regulatory requirements, especially, for example, on financial services uh, companies. They have regulations that don't allow for some of the information to be up there in the cloud, this addresses that. This, of course, led to limited search capabilities on local deployments, fragmented development. If you wanted to add some functionality of search, vector search, you need to have different components. Now you can have everything on the same platform. And, of course, reducing the risk of investing in an architecture that might not aligned with the final product. These are some of the benefits that running search and vector search on self-managed clusters have. The first one, and most important, run your search workloads anywhere, locally, in the cloud, and then probably you need to move to Atlas in the future, you can do that. Avoid, avoid the, the synchronization tax. Uh, you can have everything all together. If you at some time need to move forward to Atlas, you can do so, or maybe you are running on Atlas now, but need to copy or do an environment locally in your servers. You can bring all the information down from the cloud as well, and you will have a superior developer experience. Using a single API across all databases, uh, to perform the different search operations. How does the architecture work? This is an example of the MongoDB, uh, MongoDB server running inside of Kubernetes. So you can see on the bottom uh, part of the screen, you have the different operators, the different search, the different uh, Mongo server and Ops Manager, all together within a Kubernetes cluster. You can see the, integra in the interactions with the custom resources we just created with MongoDB and MongoDB search, and you have the customer interaction on top. This is an example of having everything together inside of Kubernetes. The alternative that I was mentioning you about is that you can run the server, the MongoDB server outside of Kubernetes as well. But as I mentioned in the beginning, the search nodes, as of now, need to be running within Kubernetes, right? You will add all the connectivity through port forwarding or whatever method we need to use. You have the MongoDB server outside, you have Ops Manager, you have the cluster, and you will have the custom resources um, querying those different search nodes. 
and you have the user on top. Some use cases now, some real life examples of how we can use the technology in different industries. This is an example of real time personalization when a customer goes and purchases some products once they get the receipt using vector search we can search for similar products that the customer has acquired in order to make real-time recommendations of similar products as to enhance the ticket value and make more sales the next example is on financial services this is a simulator that allow me to detect fraud by examining some um, behaviors, some different um, following of rules, we can see which customer is, can be maybe liable for risk, for compliance, all of this using vector search. This is very important because in a matter of seconds, we can detect some opportunities that we may have in these regards. And last but not least, we have another example for healthcare. In here, we can identify by searching and using vector search critical patient information through natural queries, accelerating caring for um, decisions real time, of course, com um, being compliant with HIPAA standards that are related to healthcare in order to safeguard healthcare data. The important part is that now that you have search and vector search in enterprise server, you are going to be enabled to build full text and semantic search features directly on your self-managed MongoDB um, environment without any external engines simplifying development you are going to be having everything on the same application, everything on the same place to be able to create this, these applications. Accelerating innovation in your self-managed environments.